I've never seen honey harvesting like this before. The little boy was completely naked, without any protection, and even the bear below looked baffled. Then, the boy gave it a kick, and the honey came pouring down, coincidentally hitting the little pig below. Seeing this, the bear couldn't hold back anymore. The boy's name was Jack, orphaned after his father was attacked by a tiger. He was later discovered by a black panther. Despite the initial threat, Jack fearlessly stuck his hand into the panther's mouth. And to everyone's surprise, the panther didn't harm him. Instead, it adopted Jack, teaching him how to survive in the forest. Even with the protection of the panther, Jack wasn't completely safe. The tiger, seeking vengeance for its injured eye, targeted Jack. However, it was currently a period of animal truce, prohibiting any fighting. The tiger attempted to have the wolf pack deliver Jack, but their leader flatly refused. Unable to act during the truce, the tiger had to bide its time, but it was far from giving up. Eventually, the wolf pack decided to send Jack back to the human world, entrusting the task to the black panther. But suddenly, the panther sensed danger and urged Jack to escape. In an instant, a tiger lunged out. Seeing the imminent danger, the panther fought valiantly to buy Jack time to flee. Jack ran for his life, and the panther was quickly overpowered by the tiger. When the tiger caught up again, Jack had grabbed onto a bull's horns and escaped with the herd. He ended up in a dark and foreboding forest, with signs of danger all around, hinting at an even greater peril. Something seemed to be on the ground. Jack thought it was a natural blanket, so he picked it up to examine. Unbeknownst to him, it was an ancient snake skin. At that moment, he didn't grasp the gravity of the situation and sat down to eat some fruit. The surroundings were eerily quiet, and suddenly, a thousand-year python emerged. Its massive eyes locked onto Jack, who was instantly mesmerized. As the python inched closer, preparing to devour him, a brown bear suddenly appeared, saving Jack and bringing him to its den. Wanting to repay the favor, Jack decided to help the bear gather honey for the winter. Faced with the steep cliff, harvesting honey seemed nearly impossible. In the face of this monumental challenge, Jack displayed his human ingenuity. He used vines and branches as tools, and after several attempts, he finally managed to bring down the honey. From then on, Jack and the bear lived together, forming a deep bond of friendship. The big bear adored Jack, allowing him to sit on its belly as they played in the river. But suddenly, something seemed to rustle in the bushes, prompting Jack to hide. He expected it to be the tiger, but to his surprise, it was the black panther. Jack joyfully brought the panther back to the den, proudly showing off their harvest and the tools he had fashioned. Upon learning that Jack used human tools to obtain honey, the black panther grew furious. Jack's actions had disrupted the forest's natural order. He demanded that Jack immediately return to the human world, leaving Jack in distress. He wandered aimlessly through the forest, but suddenly, this scene was witnessed by the bear and the panther. They pursued him, with monkeys helping Jack escape through the trees. They quickly reached the mountaintop, where an ancient palace came into view, surrounded by monkeys. Jack was ushered inside like a prisoner. Just then, a mother gorilla appeared, and Jack was in a state of panic, as a giant gorilla stood across from him. The gorilla wanted to make a deal with Jack, as he now ruled the mountain and could grant any request except control over fire, a power synonymous with destruction. In return, he promised to protect Jack. Just as the bear and the panther reached the mountaintop, the bear entered the palace and shamelessly flattered the monkey king, while the panther swiftly took Jack away. However, a small monkey spotted them. Enraging the monkey king. Despite his massive size, the king was remarkably agile. In the blink of an eye, he sealed the exit. He told Jack that even returning to the wolf pack would be of no use, as their leader had been sent to the northwest by the tiger, and no one would be able to protect him. Hearing this, Jack knew he couldn't escape. He was determined to return to the wolf pack and avenge their leader. He managed to slip out of the palace, with the monkey king in hot pursuit. However, due to his size, the palace collapsed as he chased after Jack, burying him in the chaos. In order to avenge the wolf pack leader, Jack obtained fire and set out to find the tiger. However, in a moment of carelessness, he inadvertently ignited the forest. The tiger, in its relentless pursuit of Jack, was willing to defy the entire forest. It even bit down on Jack's closest companion. Seeing the Black Panther's life in peril, Jack dashed into the flames. Just as the tiger was about to grab him, Jack leaped onto a vine he had prepared earlier. The tiger fell into the inferno. Finally, Jack had avenged their leader. At this moment, a herd of elephants appeared, using their trunks to extinguish the fire. The forest was restored to peace, and the movie came to an end.